Hello guys, welcome back to another video. Andrew Tate Socha media celebrity and businessman here he discusses about why he chooses Islam. Here he explains some reasons, so hear it out. When I say Islam is the last religion on earth, I say it because it seems to be the only one who will stand up and say no. We don't care. No. That's not what the book says. No. I was raised Christian and, and Muslims as a whole, we have no problems with Christians. None at all. I don't want anyone to think I'm anti-Christian, like I dislike Christians. We don't have a problem with Christians. We believe in a lot of the same things. We believe in Jesus. We put more respect on the name of Jesus than most Christians do. I just don't like the idea of people saying they're a Christian and saying, but because I'm a Christian, I can do whatever I want and throw all the rules away and none of it matters. Because once you have that level of tolerance, you no longer have a religion. Islam seems to be the last religion left with parameters. If you don't have parameters, you don't have a religion at all. So the closer I found myself to God, the closer I, saw, I found myself to Islam. That's just how it ended. One of journalists asks Andrew Tate about money. Do you think money is the power? Hear it out his answer. I think money is related to power, but in and of itself, it's not the only thing that makes somebody powerful, no. But just on the checks, and I'll answer that in more detail in a second, but on the checks and balances question, if, if, if the ocean doesn't reach a point of equal and opposite force, it will just engulf the entire planet, right? There has to be an equal and opposite force at some point. I'm not talking about freeing every single person from the matrix. I'm talking about freeing enough people who are ready to understand how the world really works so that there is an equal and opposite force to the tirade of bullshit, the absolute clown world bullshit they're trying to push on all of us. If nobody stands up to it, we're going to end up just fucking swallowing it all. Yeah. It's garbage. So you need to have an equal uh, uh, army on the other side. Those are my people. I don't work for the matrix. I'm the opposite. I'm the I'm Morpheus. I'm here to free the minds. We're, we're the free people who hack into the matrix and fight against the agents and the machines. As for money being power, money is certainly related to power, but the true power of the world is influence. I am currently one of the most powerful people on the planet. I can influence millions and millions and millions of young people with my mouth alone by speaking. That's why they fear me. That's what my power is. I can sit here and say the sky is green. And if I say it enough, people will begin to believe it. That's yeah. power. Power is influence. And every single thing that's happening in the world today, whether it's a pitched battle in Ukraine and Russia, whether it's the garbage they put on the news, whether it's the video you watch on YouTube, all of it is done with the goal of exerting influence on your mind. They're trying to control what you think. They're trying to control why you think it, why you believe it. They're trying to convince you that they haven't even put propaganda into your mind. And it's all a battle for influence. That's all this has ever been. Yeah. It's all been a battle for influence. So me having mass influence is a threat to them because they can sit there and say, you need your eighth booster jab. Yeah. And I can say that's bullshit. And we have two at two armies, two battles of influence against each other. Thanks for watching video. Hope you guys enjoyed the video.